we're here today with Lenny Casenza at How Sweet It Is Fudge and Candy Maker Candy Company, and we're making fudge. Yeah. So I am so excited. <laughs> it smells so good in here. So Lenny, before we have to pour the fudge, can you tell us how you got started in the candy business? Yeah, um, we've been, uh, been in business a little over 22 years, mm -hmm. and um, my father actually started the company. Um, he started making fudge at county fairs. He met a fellow there that was doing it, and they became friends, and um, then he started traveling around the country setting up marble tables and, and making, making the fudge. Um, after a couple years of that, um, my mom and I asked him to get off the road and, and stay home, and we decided to set up a business up in West Branch, Michigan, up north. Mm -hmm. And um, so we all started with a little uh, fudge shop that started expanding to kind of a more of a candy retailer, and we learned to make truffles and chocolates and things like that. Had an opportunity to open up another location here in the Lansing area. Mm -hmm. So we got down here and realized pretty quickly that the retail specialty shop in this big market really wasn't going to make it. So um, we decided to go to a different direction as a candy manufacturer and we started producing countertop items that you could um, sell in retail stores and gas stations and that. Um, we started out with our first product was a chocolate covered pretzel rod. And um, that was okay. We had moderate success with that. And we had moderate success with the second one, which was a cookies and cream cup. Um, the third product we came out with was peanut butter buckeyes. Then that kind of launched us. Matter of fact, it's still one of our top sellers. Mm -hmm. Since that time, we've added 23 counter items. We do um, fudge in a variety of styles and flavors. We do eight pound trays that are repackaged in grocery stores. We do eight ounce tubs, three ounce cups, eight ounce slices. Um, uh, and so now we've become more of a manufacturer. We, we produce and sell to wholesale distributors more than we actually do the consumer, but we have a lot of loyal consumer uh, individual business that we do as well. So, um, uh, so the company's gone through a lot of changes over this period of time and, and we're still changing a lot right now. Well, it smells delicious. Do you need to check the fudge? Yeah, let me check that real quick and see. Uh, uh, no, I still got a few more minutes on that. Still so. got a few? Okay, yeah. we don't want to. We want to nope. make it just right. Yep. So, so I, you do have a website where people can go and, and yep. order? Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, the location we're in today, we moved here about two years ago. Um, we used to have a retail storefront. Um, this location is still open to the public and we still have a small storefront, but we really target ourselves more for online sales. Mm -hmm. It's uh, more convenient for everyone to buy from us. So we have our website, which is sweetfudge.com, which is one word. And then we also sell on Amazon and eBay. And we actually have an eBay store as well. Um, so we, uh, we offer free shipping mm -hmm. on the site and um, uh, a large variety of items, even more than we could do in the store because with the virtual store it gives us a chance to showcase the seasons as well as showcase items that we didn't always make before. You know, I was impressed that the candy is made to order, so it's going to be fresh. Yes. And boy, with candy, it's got to be fresh. It is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that's another new concept with us, too, is that if, if you come into the shop and you say, I would like a box of chocolates, we actually go in the back and put it together for you. Um, the wait is never very long. We will usually get put together, but everything's made fresh. And um, even when our wholesale distributors order from us, we produce the order when we receive it. We don't warehouse anything at all. Okay. Well, you have a great facility here in Holt, and you certainly make a wide variety of products. So um, I, I would encourage people to check out the website or give you a call and try the candy. The little bit I tried was very good. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yes, I said the, uh, um, and we're always creating new products mm -hmm. and um, uh, always something new. And we do a lot of custom work, mm -hmm. which is something people should know that some people have certain flavors of fudge that are a favorite they just can't find. Um, we'll produce that to order. Um, so no orders are too small or certainly not too big. So. Well, you can you can visit Lenny at yeah. the Kellogg Center because he yeah. does the chocolate show there. Yeah. And you can taste his chocolates and see how they are. Yep. So, well, how's the fudge? Let me check on that for you. So. Okay, that's about at the temperature to pour it. I'm going to stand back. 
Yep, if you stand back a little bit. This is the part everyone likes the best, get to watch it pour on the table. Who has to do the dishes? I have to do those as well. <laughs> so. <laughs> but we still do everything here by hand. Um, as you can see on the marble table with the copper kettles, mm -hmm. just like you would see at, at most fudge shops in Mackinac and Frankenmuth. Mm -hmm. Let me get rid of this kettle out of our way. Now this no fudge good. is going to be chocolate. So this is like a base, and then you add what you want. Yeah, to it. we, you know, there's there's some simple bases that you can make a variety of flavors out of: mm -hmm. chocolate, vanilla, peanut butter. Those are pretty much the basics, and then from there you can make just about anything else. Now, one of the things about making fudge, um, especially when you make it on the marble table, one of the reasons you do that is because it will cool the candy evenly mm -hmm. and it keeps it from getting crystallized. You know, we've all had fudge yeah. that's oh, too that's hard terrible. and sugary and that. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm gonna put this here. I'm very fussy about my fudge. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people are. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> but that's, um, uh, that's the trick with the marble. Um, our marble table, as you can see, is pretty thick. And um, uh, what happens is the heat in the table pulls the heat away from the candy mm -hmm. pretty evenly. Mm -hmm. So the first step then, now that we've got in the table, is start blending it all together. And once again, the, this process is used so that you can break down the sugar granules in the fudge. And again, it's all about making it smooth and creamy so that it's not um, uh, hard or sugary or yes. grainy or anything like that. What's the big, biggest seller? What flavor? Um, I think chocolate's still at the top of the list. Yeah. You know, um, we have a lot of other flavors that are real popular. Um, of course, chocolate and chocolate walnut, peanut butter and chocolate peanut butter. Um, one flavor that's very popular for us is um, a pecan turtle. And that's um, a chocolate fudge with large pieces of um, caramel in it uh -huh. and pecans. And uh, people really love that. So. But we make a lot of unique flavors too. We make like a, an Irish cream and an amaretto flavor. Mm -hmm, we do a mm -hmm. variety of cheesecake fudges, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Now as you can see, the fudge is starting to thicken up. I see how it was so runny when it was yeah, on the I table see it. before. I can see that it is. Yeah, see, but now it's starting to get thicker. And that will give us an opportunity, once it thickens up a little bit, I can remove the bars and then I can really cream it well. I see. Yeah. It takes some muscle to do this, I can tell. Yeah, you certainly uh, you certainly build up a little upper body strength, yeah, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but see how it's starting to get all starting to get. Yes, creamy I can now. see how it's creaming right up there. Yeah, it's getting really, really Good nice. So. To taste. Well, let me pull these bars off the table. I'm gonna go right past you real quick for just a second. Set this down. So how many? How many what? I'm sorry. How many pounds will this make? This will make thirty pounds of fudge. So. Well, it's a lot to eat, Lenny, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> and I, I will let you eat as much as you can. So. <laughs> See, but now from this base, I also, like I said, I can make a variety of flavors. I can mm -hmm. make chocolate or chocolate walnut. I can use this chocolate and other fudges. Um, it's just a nice basic fudge to have. So 
pretty warm. Yeah. Yeah, it comes off, um, you know, I get the candy to set up. It's, it's over 230 degrees when mm -hmm. it's in the kettle. And you could see how it had a nice rolling boil. Yeah. You know, it's, I uh, thought it was interesting that you had the fan going so that the pot didn't boil over. Right, yes. <laughs> yep, that was... Uh, um, see, now as you notice the candy was so liquidy before it was going, yeah. going to um, flow, but now it's pretty stiff on the table. Now you've seen too where they use the big long paddles and that like that. Mm -hmm. We use short paddles just because it's easier. Kind of bring everything around the table to the center. Now it's in the process where I can cream it. And see how smooth it's starting yep, to become? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. That's one of the things about our fudge that I take a lot of pride in is that this recipe is very consistent. The fudge is always creamy. Um, like I mentioned, we sell on Amazon and eBay and on the website. One of the things that I really like about selling on um, Amazon and eBay is um, all the comments. You know, people are, uh -huh. are really encouraged to comment about the quality. And um, I'm happy to say I, I don't know exactly how many number we have, but. Um, We've never had one negative comment on either site, so. How many people do you employ here? It varies, it's seasonal. Um, sometimes it can be as little as five. It can be as many as 30. You know, oh. it just depends on, uh, I'd like to have it be as many as possible on a mm -hmm. full-time basis. Yeah. So. Well, I'm thinking if you're making stuff, you might as well be making something good like this rather than like <laughs> dog food or something. This is really, oh, I'm telling you, it smells good. <laughs> ah. Well, thank you. And really, that's about it at this stage now with the fudge. We can do a variety of things. I can tray it up into an eight pound tray. We can pour it into eight ounce cups, three ounce cups. Um, we can mold it into a loaf and make slices. Mm -hmm. so. Very versatile. Yeah. Well, Lenny, I certainly appreciate you letting us come and uh, smell the goodies here and watch you work in the fudge. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. This I has been the best shoot I've been on. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I have lots of candy for you to try. Oh, so. good. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Okay. I really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Lenny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll be right back after this. Yeah.